All right, we're continuing to press on to the top of the hour with football. Round 15 of the English Premier League continued with six matches on Wednesday, featuring defending champions Manchester City losing to Aston Villa 1-0. The loss kept City's points tally at 30, six behind leaders Arsenal, who are two points above Liverpool. Fourth place Aston Villa, Tottenham and Manchester United occupy the other European spots. The focus has been on Manchester City and their chances of completing a beaver trick of English Premier League titles with pundits being doubtful they can accomplish the feat after dropping points to Chelsea, Liverpool and Tottenham in their last three fixtures. Well, former Liverpool captain Jamie Carragher has been critical of the team which urged the citizens' boss to respond. Honestly, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think it's about the complacency. Honestly, I know that players, I know how we run, I know, you know, how we behave it was extraordinary. So I had the feeling if we maintain that level, we will win the Premier League. We will win it again. So he knows that how difficult it is. Otherwise, Gary Neville have won four Premier Leagues in the best period of my reality. He didn't do it. You know, and maybe he knows the competition, but then I see my team, how is the backwards, how he fight, how he press, how he continue the end, how he upset they are after consider goals or how we react and everything. I don't have that feeling, but maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they see everything that I'm not able to do, to see. Well, Carago, he took to X to respond. I think I'd probably won one if Liverpool were owned by a nation state and pushed the rules so far, but the Premier League charged us 115 times. I was actually praising Pep's team after the game on Sunday. But Carragher there laughing. So, Ricardo, you get the first shot at this. Uh, Pep, of course, to me, responding to what was asked to him. And to me, Pep never really responds like that in that type of manner he he always says you know it's still early in the season like it's an answer that even i can go to a press conference and respond for him he always says it's too early in the season we have a lot of work to do all teams are capable opponents and you know let's just take it one game at a time but this this time he says my feeling today is we're going to win the premier league should we be worried me, as in we, me, Mariah, Ram Harak. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, as a Manchester City fan yeah. is, is what you're saying. Yes. Well, the truth is when you've won the Premier League three times in a row, then you are allowed to have the level of confidence that Pep Guardiola has at the moment, especially when you have um, pulled back deficits in the past. Don't forget last season um, when they reeled in Arsenal down the stretch and they have a knack of doing that. So the confidence that Pep Guardiola is showing is because he knows the quality that he has in the squad. And yes, um, as you pointed out, they have now dropped points in their last four games um, with the defeat to Aston Villa today. But I don't think anyone, despite the fact that Manchester City have now slipped to fourth in the Premier League table, um, would bet against them still going on to win this league. They're only six points of the top at the moment with Arsenal leading the way and that is not an insurmountable lead for Manchester City. It's not an insurmountable lead for Pep Guardiola and so from that standpoint um, you can't fault Pep Guardiola for showing the level of confidence he is showing now. Having said all of that, Mariah, it was a massive day in the English Premier League with Leon Bailey scoring the winner for Aston Villa yes. in the 1-0 victory against Manchester City. A fourth consecutive game, um, City dropping points. But Leon Bailey um, and, and the raging debate in Jamaica... Why doesn't he score for Jamaica? Yeah, talking about Leon Bailey's performances um, in the national colours as opposed to his performances for Aston Villa. He's now scored in back-to-back -back games for Villa. And by all accounts, his performance today against Manchester United was of the highest quality. Um, and so um, he is showing that he is a world-class player um, and he is showing that at the Premier League level. I did say 
when we spoke about him and his performance for Jamaica that I personally think that he is playing significantly better for Jamaica than he was a year ago or even six or seven months ago. Um, the issue, though, is that in the recent matches in the Nations League, he was not scoring. And ultimately, that is what I think everyone is seeing. Correct. They're not seeing um, the gameplay and how involved he is, um, but they are seeing the fact that he has missed some opportunities that you would expect a player of his quality to take. But he is improving. He is getting better. Um, and at least for Aston Villa, he is putting away his chances. In fact, he is making some of those chances. Um, and, and that can only um, do well. One of the issues um, for me, Mariah, with fans of Caribbean sports, and it, it probably happens elsewhere, but I, I want to speak specifically to the Caribbean here, is that we often can't see beyond what happens today. So a player misses a few chances. Yeah, mm -hmm. a player misses a few chances today and you go, oh, he's the worst player in life. He, he shouldn't start. He shouldn't do this. Tomorrow and he scores. Tomorrow he scores and that changes. He's a hero. And, and nobody really thinks about or not often enough, um, I think, do fans think about the trajectory that a player is on, um, trying to analyze um, the issues, why... Um, this might be happening as opposed to that and what needs to be corrected and whether the player is on the right path to correct those um, and make the adjustments. Um, but yeah, I, I think Leon Bailey is improving in national colours and for Aston Villa, he's flying at the moment. Yeah, really good for them. And, you know, if Aston Villa continues, they might even play Champions League football. But Ricardo, back to the question. Can Manchester City make it four? You think, yeah? Oh, I answered that already. Pep Guardiola thinks so, so who am I to think that they can't? And as I said, they're only six points behind. Yeah, that's not insurmountable. Yeah, and last season, they were eight points behind Arsenal, and then yeah. they went on to, beat, to win the EPL by five points. Yeah. So... Yeah, there you go. Great win today, by the way, for Manchester United, yeah. beating Chelsea by two goals to one. Scott Matonomy <laughs> yes. um, with a double. Um, Cole Palmer scoring for... Chelsea, but a massive victory for Manchester. Manchester United, keeping them in the top six, taking them to 27 points, tied with Tottenham, who have a game in hand. Um, so looking up for the Red Devils. Yeah, happy for that win for Manchester United today. Are but you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, right. I'm not bad mine at if all. If you say so. What, one of the things, though, Ricardo, where Manchester United is concerned mm -hmm. is like, you know, today they produce the result. They look as if they're looking up. And then another game, you'd look at the team and it, it appears as if it's a different team. And for me, that I've seen that too a lot, too often this season. And it's a bit worrying. Well, in my opinion, um, the Manchester United result is dependent on the quality of the opposition. Um, Chelsea has been poor this season. Chelsea is in 10th on 19 points. Manchester United have been better than Chelsea this season. So in a matchup between Man U and Chelsea, I expect Manchester United to come out on top. And by the way, Bruno Fernandes missed a penalty in the first half that yeah. would have um, sent Manchester United 1-0 up. Um, but the, the better the opposition gets is the more Manchester United is likely to struggle because at this stage, Manchester United is not a top three team in the English Premier League. Yeah. And as they have shown in Europe as well, there are many deficiencies um, that with a certain level of quality can be exploited and has been exploited. I mean, one of the things you realize this season, once United comes up against um, a half-decent attack, they tend to concede goals. Um, even if they score a few, they concede many as well. And we've seen that on a number of occasions in, in the Champions League. But as far as I'm concerned, beating Chelsea was very much expected. And it, it would have been shocking if they had lost to Chelsea, to be honest. Yeah, what's very impressive as well is Liverpool. They're second on the EPL table. They had a 2-0 win today, Ricardo, against Sheffield United. Virgil van Dijk, Virgil van Dijk getting that first goal. And then they had the second goal coming from Dominique Sobosazlai. 
Yeah, yeah, so, yeah good, good win for Liverpool as well. Very good win for, for Liverpool as well. And as you rightly pointed out, they're, 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 they're getting things together. Trent Alexander-Arnold is becoming more involved on the attacking front. Again, was involved today. Um, I think assisted the first goal yes. um, coming off the weekend where he scored. And that can only be good for Liverpool when they're getting contributions, um, goal-scoring contributions from right around the pitch. Um, and, you know, one of the things that I give Liverpool credit for, and they've, they've had their bad season, um, but I, I believe that you could always see the pieces to the Liverpool puzzle being put together. Yeah, at um, any time. And unlike, so remember at the start of the season when I said that Manchester United would finish fourth, the only reason I said that is because Manchester United is my team. I can't truly say that I was convinced that based on the shopping that we did in the summer, I felt that United would be a, a top four team. Liverpool, on the other hand, based on the pieces that they put together, um, and I figured that with the likes of Trent, what they, once they got some um, level of rest, because it's been season up on season, going, 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 um, and I think they needed some quality rest, and, and I think we're just seeing the results of that. They have a really good team, and I think they're going to challenge for this title. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if come the back end of the season, Liverpool are the ones challenging Manchester City Correct. for the crown. For the crown. <laughs> All right, Ricardo. Well, let's leave that EPL discussion right there. We'll take a break. And when we come back, we have a lot of time for interactive.